new toys. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so today I'm wearing a vintage Evans timepiece, a uh, manual wine that I love, 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 that was actually given to me by a good friend of mine, and uh, yeah, I haven't, it has not seen near enough wrist time. And I'll do a review of this and kind of a walkthrough of this watch at some point, but we're not here for this watch today, we're here for this. My trusty knife, we're going to just rip into this guy because I know it'll be safe to rip into this one because it's a uh, watch strap so get that out of the way this watch strap I bought off of uh, eBay and uh, I was about to get pissed off this morning from my uh, so I don't stab myself stop talking um, I was about to get pissed off from my uh, mail carrier because I uh, I got a notification it had been delivered, but it wasn't in my mailbox, and then I realized that I had sent it to my uh, fiance's house, so uh, I'm an idiot. You know, I don't even know what brand this is, and I'm going to try to find what I just cut off and uh, tell you what band it is. Um, probably should have done that. Well, anyway, whatever. Yeah, I just uh, I wanted to do an unboxing of this guy and uh, get it, see what it was like. It's, you know, honestly, it's a, it's a fairly cheap clasp. Uh, looks like base metal, um, which I expected. And then the mesh. Um, I have never had a shark mesh bracelet, so I wanted to order a cheap one, give it a try, see what it was like, see if I even like it, uh, and then order a nicer one. Um, so yeah, this one, unlike the other review, uh, the other unboxing of a watch bracelet um, that I did just recently, this one uh, did not come with spare uh, end links. It does not come with uh, spring bars. doesn't come with anything. just comes with a bracelet in a package. So, um, yeah, that's what you get. So, let's throw it on a watch and uh, see what it looks like. Okay guys, I promise I'm not trying to annoy you with uh, Bulova Lunar Chronograph or Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph content. Um, it's just the last watch band I got for this, the last watch bracelet I liked, but I, uh, you know, I saw a, I saw a picture of uh, a uh, shark mesh on the Bulova and it looked better than what I had ordered. So uh, I ordered this. So we're gonna throw it on, see what it looks like, and then I promise this guy will go bye-bye from the channel for a while. It's not going bye-bye from my collection, but I am not going to keep spamming you with uh, Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph content because, uh, one, it's hard to say, and two, I, I, I'm kind of tired of doing it. So anyway, we're going to throw this on this, see how it looks right now. What do you guys think? I think uh, Shark Mesh is the way to go. I think that other bracelet will end up on something else. Um, this shark mesh looks so much cooler on this than um, that other bracelet. Obviously we're going to need some adjustment. I believe that requires uh, cutting the, um, the steel mesh. I thought about wearing this tomorrow but I will wear it once I get it sized. Once it is sized though I think that's going to be, I think it's going to be really nice. Um, yeah, I don't think the other bracelet is ever going to make its way back onto this after seeing it on Shark Mesh. And I'm actually excited to see what this looks like on the Omega. The Omega also has 20 millimeter um, lug width. So, um, should be the Planet Ocean. So, it should be, uh, should be really cool on that as well. We'll be definitely buying some higher end Shark Mesh. Um, I might actually get a, a 22. Cause I think this shark mess would look good on a uh, the SKX as well. That's my very very quick unboxing. Uh, this guy's gonna go bye bye for a little while, other than maybe just on the wrist, just to show you it updated with it sized uh, in the next video or a couple of videos from now. Uh, but aside from that, we're not gonna we're not gonna do any more uh, Bulova uh, Lunar Pilot Chronograph content unless you tell me you guys want it. If you guys want it, I'll do it. Um, 
you have let me know that you enjoyed the uh, Behind the Dial series, uh, Beyond the Dial series. Is it is it Behind the Dial or is it Beyond the Dial? Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments what sounds better, Beyond the Dial or Behind the Dial for the series where we just kind of pop open the case bag. So uh, let me know what what name I should go with. I I think I named it behind the dial when I released it, but I think I had planned on saying beyond the dial and just misspoke. So um, yeah, just let me know. Very happy with the shark mesh. Got to figure out how to shrink it. And um, I mean, I know how to shrink it. I just have to do it. Lots of content on the way, guys. Um, some new watches, some new watch reviews, some more of the beyond the dial, behind the dial, whatever we're going to end up calling that. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. So stick around. And, uh, oh, I should say, I went back, I looked at that uh, package, which I don't know where it is now. I think it's over there on the floor somewhere. Um, but yeah, it says watch strap. So awesome. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave a link below, guys. Um, it's definitely worth the money that was paid. It, it wasn't very expensive, although it escapes me at the moment how much I gave for it. But I'll leave, I'll leave that in the, um, uh, I'll leave that in the uh, comments below so you guys you guys know how much was paid, where you can get it, uh, if you so choose. So please like, please subscribe, please continue to comment. I try to answer all of them. And uh, if you're into cars, you can check out my other channel. Uh, it's uh, that Speed Three guy. It's I think we're up to 30 subscribers. So I mean, it's it's huge, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's just kind of a fun thing. We go to car shows and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. Here you guys go. A quick look at it on the wrist. And look, I know you purists are going to be having a hissy fit that I put a dive bracelet on a pilot-inspired watch. But quite frankly, I think it looks awesome. I don't care. The fact that I've mixed uh, genres has not escaped me. Y'all have a good one. See you next time. Bye.